I'm gonna show you five secrets to Notion, but don't tell anybody. So secret number one involves color. Have you ever wanted to add a background color to certain blocks that just don't give you the option? Well, there's actually a way to still do that inside of Notion. So as you can see, I have an inline table on the screen here, and all I'm gonna do is click and drag this table inside of this toggle block, which already has a purple background color. And now if I open the toggle block, that table now has a purple background color. And we can do the same thing with all the other databases. Galleries, calendars, list, and boards. And if toggle blocks aren't your thing, well, we can actually turn this toggle block into a bulleted list, and voila, the color is still persisting behind that board. And we can actually turn this into just text. It'll still work. We can turn this into a to-do list item block. As long as you have the database indented inside of a block that can have background color, the background color will be applied behind the database as well. And if we take this database and we take it out of the block, as you can see, it goes back to having a standard white background. All right, on to secret number two. Secret number two is all about slash commands. Now, if you're familiar with slash commands, you know that they're just a really easy way to insert blocks into Notion. And if you start typing the name of a block you want to insert, let's just say video for this example, it's a really easy way to avoid using your mouse for, for the act of inserting a block. However, you can also use slash commands to search text in the sections that are in this drop-down window. For example, if we type advanced, it will only show us the blocks under the advanced section. Now typically slash commands are associated with creating new blocks. However, you actually can use a slash command at the end of current blocks to turn them into other types of blocks. For example here, let's add a slash to the end of this block which I already have created, and we can start typing turn into, and there you go. It gives you all the things that you can turn it into while you're editing a current block that has already been created. And because the slash command allows you to search the text inside of the sections of the pop-up, we actually can do the same thing for color and actions. All right, let's move on to secret number three. Secret number three is all about those columns. You may have already noticed that you can't actually rearrange blocks inside of a toggle block in a way to set up columns. Let me show you an example right now. Let's create some columns here. Column one, column two, column three, and, and if I try to create a second column, I, I can't, Notion won't let me. I can move these blocks up and down, or I can move them to the right of the toggle block. Well, there is a way to actually do this inside of Notion. I'm gonna delete this and go inside this page here. Now inside this page, I have three columns set up. Let's go back out of this page And we're just gonna turn this page into a toggle block. And if we open it up, we have three columns inside of a toggle. And to prove that, I will color the background of the toggle block just to give you a better example. Just to show you that I'm not lying to you. And yeah, there you go, three columns inside of a toggle block. You probably never thought it could happen, but you know what? There are secrets inside of Notion. All right, let's move forward to secret number four. All right, secret number four. Well, it's right in front of you. Look closely, that's not a video. That's actually a GIF playing inside of Notion. And it's actually looping infinitely. But no worries, getting a GIF to play inside of Notion really isn't tricky at all. Let me show you how to do it. Let's remove the current GIF. All you gotta do is create a video embed block. Grab the link to the GIF. 
this link I'm using in this example is from Giphy. Paste it in the embed window, click on the embed video button, and there you go. And if you want to resize the GIF, you can actually click on these little handles here and make the GIF a little smaller, which kind of makes it a little awkward because now it's just in the center of the screen. But you also could put a GIF inline indented underneath another block. Let's use an example here. And we can take this GIF and just drag it under this block here. And now you have a better looking GIF in line with some text. All right, let's move on to the final secret. You're not gonna wanna miss this. And for secret number five, I dug really deep for this one. I've rewatched all the Indiana Jones films, well, the good ones, and well, I stumbled across something interesting. You can actually draw inside of Notion. Is your mind blown yet? <laughs> all right, take a deep breath, count to three. All right, I'm gonna show you how to get this inside of your Notion account. It's really simple. Type the slash command, type draw, and then count up to 30 seconds. On the 30, press the enter key. If you don't do this just right, if you're a little bit too fast or a little too slow, this draw block will not show up. You have to be very precise with this. All right, are you counting? I'm just messing with you. <laughs> This actually wasn't created by Notion themselves. This is a third-party embed called Notation. It simply uses an iframe in the Notion embed block, and it even supports pressure sensitivity. And if you wanna check out the source code, you can actually view it on GitHub as well. But yeah, I'll leave a link for this in the description below. Click on that open web app link. You'll be brought to the Notation web app page. Then you'll be asked to create an account with a Google email address. Once you do that, click on the new drawing button and then just copy and paste this link here. Go back over to Notion. Paste that link and click Create Embed. And as you can see, we can use our cursor to draw inside. And it also has a menu. You can click right here to clear, undo, redo, change the color and also the thickness. Or you can actually go dark mode if you want to. So yeah, pretty impressive stuff. Just keep in mind that anyone who has a link can view the drawing, but you have to be logged into the same notation account that the link is associated with in the same browser in order for you to be able to draw and edit inside of this embed. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. And I'm gonna be putting out a lot more Notion videos very soon, you can count on that. Feel free to subscribe because you don't wanna miss the next one. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.